In this video I will show and explain how to build up solid constructions and how to apply thermal properties. One approach could be that starting by having generic layered constructions as shown in this Google spreadsheet there is a link to in the comments part to this video. And the idea of having these generic layered construction is to quick test different construction sets if it's a heavy exterior or lightweight exterior or if the interior construction is heavy or lightweight. So having these generic types for the first try and later on detail them even more. Back in Revit I will show how to create a simple wall construction based on some of these generic types. First I will show how to do it with solid constructions like walls. Let's say we have this simple generic model and I would like to divide these walls up in more detailed layers. I can select it and edit this one and duplicate it saying let's say it should be a brick with some insulation in between and then with an interior load bearing wall of concrete. I will keep the information of it's a function of exterior but for the structure I will go in and say edit and put some more layers in. In this case just three layers by insert two times changing the middle one to a thermal layer for example and the outer one to finish one that should be the brick. I will still have the same thickness so I will say 200 millimeters of concrete 110 of brick and the rest should be insulation and that is 190 and we can all the time see what the total thickness is up here and we can also see the resistance or the insulation of this wall. So let's start from here and choose a brick or see if we can find a brick opening the material library. First searching for brick material and I prefer to use this template that is an uh, educational template than Edu materials. Here I'll choose brick common and transfer it to the project, replace it and this brick actually have some thermal properties. I can see that with the different assets here. I have the graphic, appearance, physical and thermal. If we didn't have the thermal part we can open the asset library by clicking on replace this asset. The asset library will open seen in this window and here we could search for brick and we have two types of brick as default built into this library and we need to choose of course the aspect of thermal so I will choose just this one just to show how it can be done click on the transfer icon over here and now it's transferred over to here so I can close this one again and if we look more closely on the different properties we have thermal conductivity specific heat density and all this information you typically can find for all of kind of materials so you can type that in. To this video there is a link to a Google spreadsheet where some of these are explained and how you can convert some of these values. And here we see the spreadsheets. There is a Danish and an English version. So if you are not used to work with a specific unit you can use this spreadsheet to convert it to the unit you typically use. There's a short description of what it means, uh, the different parts. And we also need it to calculate the U value. Because in Revit it talks about resistance and not about U values. So we could type the resistance in here and get the U value. I'll come back to that. So when we have chosen the, the right thermal properties for this brick material we can press OK and then it will assign uh, this material to this layer for the insulation we can do the same search for insulation again taken from the Danedo material library there is some bad insulation that is soft insulation I could transfer that to my project and again this is already existing up here so I just replace it click on it so I can edit it going again to thermal 
to see if there is any thermal properties and that seems okay in this case so I will not change this just important to make sure there is some thermal property or else it cannot be counted into the overall U value and construction okay and last for the concrete we need to choose a concrete material in the same way concrete and we could use this lightweight concrete make sure it have thermal properties and this seems also okay and this press okay in this window of edit assembly we cannot get the u value but we can get the resistance that's just another unit of so to say the u value so if we type this in to the spreadsheet 6.75 on the resistance here in the spreadsheet 7.75 then we will get the U value or instead of using the spreadsheet we could just press OK and then in the bottom we would like to see the U value he down here but that's a little bit tricky to go back and forth so maybe it's faster to do, use the spreadsheet to just check how the U value is it also calculates the thermal mass and that is something about how good this construction is to store heat and energy like heat or cooling and finally press OK and then we have created a new construction with thermal properties